Welcome to PT Dance Instructional Videos. Today we're going to be talking about what burns more calories, weight training or cardio? Back in the day, everybody used to think that cardio burns more calories. Today we've actually realized weight training burns about 150% more calories than cardio. So how does this all work? Well, if you've got the exact same two people doing a workout, in that actual training session, one person is doing cardio, the other person is doing weight training. Say, car say person A is doing your cardio and person B is doing weight training. In a half hour to an hour training session or whatever time may be, person A, the person doing cardio, will actually burn more calories than the person doing weights. Therefore, we think, well, if they burn more calories in exercise, then that must be the end of the story. But it's not. There's a big spanner in the works that I'm about to throw in where you'll soon discover that weight training actually does burn more calories uh, within a 48 hour period. So they don't, weight training doesn't burn as many calories in that training session, but over the next two days it does. So let's have a look at a quick graph and, and I'll try and explain it to you more clearly. This is a graph of the calories burnt over time. We're going to have a look at a two day period here. First, Let's have a look at the person doing cardio, shall we? So a person starts doing cardio. In that training session over time, they burn a massive amount of calories. But then as soon as that training session is over, the amount of calories they burn goes down. Now, for the next one or two days, their, body, their body's metabolism pretty much goes back to normal. In fact, it currently goes backwards a little bit because when you do a lot of cardio, you lose your muscularity. And your muscularity is what's directly responsible for your basal metabolic rate. A big car burns more fuel than a little car simply because it's bigger. So the more muscle mass we have, the more calories our bodies demand for fuel at rest. So by doing a lot of resistance training and increasing your muscularity, is like increasing the size of the engine of your car and now it's actually demanding more fuel. So when you've done your cardio, uh, you're not burning that much amount of calories because you don't really need to. Now, let's compare this to somebody who's doing weight training. In that one training session, the amount of calories that this person burns is not that much. It's a little bit less. But what happens is, their metabolism actually stays highly elevated for the next 48 hours. Why does this happen? Well, when you do weight training, you're actually breaking down your muscle tissue. Now, for the next 48 hours, your body needs to repair that broken down muscle tissue that you've just broken, that you've just torn in that resistance training exercises. That means that your body now has to burn more calories, helping your body repair that broken down muscle tissue. So now the basal metabolic rate, your metabolic rate has not only increased by your increasing uh, muscularity, but your body now has to spend more calories repairing that broken down muscle tissue. So that releases a high level of metabolic rate. So your metabolism stays much higher and elevated over the next two days. So in that one training session, you may not have burnt as many calories as the person doing cardio, but if you do a lot of resistance training, over the next two days, your body has dramatically uh, increased its resting metabolic rate. And this is why over a 48 hour period, uh, somebody doing resistance training has burnt up to 150% more calories. So, what does this mean? Cardio versus weight training. As you do cardio, your body is breaking down, and I'm talking about people doing cardio alone, they're losing their muscularity. Their body's ability to burn fat decreases as time goes on. If you're doing resistance training, not only is your basal metabolic rate higher, but you're increasing your muscularity as time goes on, speeding up your metabolic rate, uh, speeding up uh, the amount of calories your body is burning per day, and uh, that's going to result in a faster ability for your body to lose weight. The only time, therefore, that you should stop doing or cut down on your resistance training and start to focus more on your cardio is if you need to do it for your cardiovascular health, um, such as if you're at risk of some sort of cardiovascular disease or illness, um, or, which most people are in right now, um, a lot of ladies out there, your muscularity might already be where you want it to be, 
and therefore this is probably the time where you can now afford to spend a little bit more time doing cardio. But if you're just looking to uh, increase in uh, your metabolism and your body's ability to burn fat, then what I strongly suggest you do is forget about the cardio and uh, start doing a lot more resistance training.